Hey everybody, I'm so sorry I have been like incognito, things have been going on, life has been happening, but I'd show you a few cards I've done lately. These are my Christmas cards I'm sharing with you, these are the ones that are going to get mailed out. This one's really simple, just a couple of dies on some pattern paper. Inside I actually added glitter just to spur it up, popper it up a little bit. And the handwriting on the front I actually did by hand. You'll see that my new passion right now that I'm having fun with is calligraphy. Um, one of the things you'll notice about me, if you know me for any length of time, is that I can move from one craft to the other, and so calligraphy is my new thing. This one is a good example of what I love to do as far as layers. I like to make these 3D cards that are layered. Um, I was inspired by Kitty in this, but I also make the tunnel books, which I don't think she does. I do the tunnel books where it goes back like five or six layers. It's a full book that opens up and you can just look back for a long time. I love doing those. This one was just that uh, a little snowflake die. Well, actually, it was a big snowflake cut die cut to a small one. And the word snow on this card is written by hand as well. Again, me practicing my calligraphy. Um, this one has no sentiment on front. It's just a cutout of a, of a single snowflake in a gold rectangle border. And then there, on the back, I have another card. So there's two cards in that package. This one's just made out of scrap paper that I got from my scrap bin, and I added some glitter to it to festive it up a little bit. Um, like I said, this snowflake die, I don't know if I mentioned it to you, maybe I did, but that just, I fell in love with it. It's by Impression Obsession. So I used it as a background, the front of my card. Here you see that I made a little scene on the front of it with the snowman and the trees, and that's stamping up glitter paper behind that scene. I love making little scenes on the front of cards. Um, here's a this is a spellbinder die that I just uh, die cut out of our goal paper, the Stampin' Up Gold paper. I die cut it out of that, and I also used it as a mat on the inside. I love that, like it's a brushed gold paper. It's really cool. And here I just took that die, put it on ivory paper. It looks really cool, white on ivory as well. I actually got carried away with this particular die. So uh, I'll, I'll kind of show you a few of them. Here's like uh, real red, and here's the red glitter paper behind it, which I thought was kind of fun. Uh, that's the real navy or the knight of navy. Here's some gumball green with red, which I thought looked festive. I forget the name of this color, but I think that's the raspberry. And this is craft with white, and I added some pearls um, just to make it a little bit more elegant. Here's the real red with pearls. And here's that our vellum paper with the stripes. I think this would look good with the vellum um, dots as well in the background, but I dressed it up with the vellum behind it and, a, and some cherry cobbler in a brown frame. So I had fun with that die. Again, it's by Impression Obsession, but all the papers are by Stampin' Up. Um, here's a card that I did that, you know, I just, I don't know if you recognize the holiday kit that we have. Um, so that it's a Christmas kit of all different stamps and, and cards and, and dies. That's what's in, that's the base of this. And then that's like one of the last year, I think, Christmas stamps and one of our older embellishments. Um, so I'm mixing old with new and stamping up with other products. It's lovely, lo lovely as a tree, some basic pearls on that kit base card and with an oval frame on the front and some bells, you know, just kind of trying to use my old products up, guys. I kind of like using everything I own. I don't like hoarding. So like if I see something sitting around too long, I'll grab it and try to use it. Here's some other stamps from like last year, I think, but I just kind of used uh, some of the blendabilities to color. Um, I'm, I'm really having fun with blendabilities and have gotten what I consider to be good at it. So every opportunity I can use them, I will. Um, and I like to add glitter around Christmas time to everything, just because I think people expect sparkle and shine. This is, uh, like, I would call this like a collage of die cuts, like on top of each other. Um, just kind of cut and then assemble. Sometimes I just assemble cards, you know, and then I leave the inside blank so that I can write my message. Because a lot of this stuff is going to people on the East Coast that I haven't talked to in a long time. So I'll write them a full letter. It's not just a, a short greeting and, and my signature. It's actually going to be a full letter. 
And I, I am one of those people that really do enjoy writing letters. And, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to, you know, just stamp something on the inside and sign it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I personally like to write letters. This is a fun project. Kind of get your scrap paper out. This is our Christmas designer series paper and I, and I had scraps left. And I took the, the real red paper and gum roll green and made the top of the boxes and then just wrapped it in our silver ribbon. So that was kind of a fun card. If my camera was working, I'd show you that one. I'm gonna get the camera fixed or I'm gonna get a new one. One of the two. I'm trying to decide whether I wanna allow myself to let this camera go. This is flower soft stuff and I combined it with dyes and some of our um, ivory cardstock, which I really like the dimension again. I like layers and dimensions on Christmas cards. I don't know why. This is just some old graphic 45 paper, but I'm using Stampin' Up uh, watercolor paper, Stampin' Up Real Red, and Stampin' Up Glitter paper, um, along with those dyes that are not Stampin' Up. So I mix and match products too all the time. I don't know if you find that offensive, but uh, again, I like to use what's in my craft room because I buy it to use it. There is some Stampin' Up! glitter paper behind Spellbinder dye. No, that's not Spellbinders. I'll look it up and see what that is. Um, I forgot the name of that dye. It's very ornamental. Um, and here's the thing that you're gonna hate. I don't keep the names of stuff. Um, not even the Stampin' Up! stuff. So, like I know that's our Christmas designer series paper, but heck if I know the name of it, I kind of forgot. This is a style you can learn from Split Coast. It's actually meant to have that curve at the top. Unfortunately, I had these stacks, and so my curve is kind of a little warped. But there's Stampin' Up! Designer paper in two layers. Uh, the vellum is what's holding the greeting on that card. Here is uh, kind of an ornamental die with a Tim Holtz stamp on, and a, that little sticker at the top is actually somewhere around six years old. I pulled it out of a drawer and said, hey, this is perfect. I like red and black and white. So so getting to like my other passion, which is fountain pens and writing, I just wanted to give you a peek at my favorite fountain pens. I've got the, um, that's the new, that's the new Falcon, the Metal Falcon Soft Extra Fine. Beautiful nib. Um, it does very fine strokes. This is like custom. Um, Palette Custom 742, which has that FA nib, which is soft as heck. It's just extremely soft and very easy to to write with. And then this is by Christoph, Franklin Kristoff, and it's like glass and ice. And I think it's called Smoke and Ice, but I love that pen. And I have gray ink in it that looks a lot like pencils. So it's kind of fun. But yeah, I've gotten into this calligraphy, calligraphy mode and I'm mixing calligraphy with card design and with journaling. So here's uh, my journal and what you'll see is that it mixes like, you know, just kind of practice writing, practicing my premiership. That's a story that I wrote. And then I'm mixing the writing with stamping and markers and even water. Um, this is a I think it's called a Tom Rowe River journal. The paper is extra fine thin, but it doesn't feather and it's, it's great for fountain pens. And it takes the inks of my stamps and my markers really well. And so I'm mixing the writing with the stamping and boy, is that fun. It's like two loves all together. Ah, angels are singing in the heavens. I'm writing and stamping at the same time. And I don't know if there's anything better than that, but, um, I love that gold ink right there. That's by McCaffrey, I think. It's a gold iridescent ink. It's just beautiful. And I like to spend time writing in my journal, but also writing to friends. That little card, you'll see, that came from my upline. And I stuck it in this book because I love the simplicity of her card. That's Beth that sent me that. So I'm really getting into writing. And I write people letters, too. Um, not a lot of people write to me. So if you want to be a pen pal, let me know. Thanks, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.